everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a plugin that works with Photoshop called Infinite Color. Now, Infinite Color has been around a while, so many of you may already use it and love it. If you do, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know how you're using this program. If you are not familiar with Infinite Color, it is a plugin that you purchase and it runs through Photoshop. It does some amazing things with a click of a button to add some beautiful colors, tones, light to your images. I will paste the link to their website in the comments. They have a beautiful website that walks you through all of the different programs that they offer. Infinite Color is one of the many tools available under Infinite Tools, but I really like this for color grading and adding some details to your images. So we're going to jump in and look at some images together today and how to use this tool. But before we do, please take a moment to click the subscribe button and the like. And again, leave me some comments if you're already using Infinite Color and if you like it. So let's first look at how it works. So if you go to plugins, once you load the program, you'll have the Infinite Color suite here and it opens as this nice panel that you can move around based on how you like to edit. I'm going to keep it right here next to our layers today so that we can see it. Now, the first thing that you'll notice under this color option is this huge create button, and it makes it so easy to run through different options. Now, the way this plugin works is it's going to create for you a curves, color balance, selective color, gradient map, color lookup. It's going to create all five of these layers for you and add different color tones. So let's do an example so that you can see it. I think that's the best way to understand the magic of this program. So we're on a blank layer and we're going to just start by clicking the button create. And instantly we're going to see a new color tone has been added to our image. You'll see this group here that's called infinite color. Now I'm going to click the drop down and you'll see all five of these panels have been created for us. Now, right now, everything is at 100% opacity and you've got all of these options here below. So this is where the magic really comes into play. You have the options to turn these on and off to really see how they're impacting your image. There may be a part of this group that you don't like as much as another part, and maybe you want to remove it. So if I go through and look, maybe I don't like that color lookup and I want to take that off. So I can just leave it off and now it's not highlighted. And you can see it automatically turned it off of my panel here. So that's the beauty of this program. You can modify and change within each of the layers that it's created. Now we can also reduce the opacity. So we can come over and slide this down. Maybe we only want about 50% of that color grade or even 60%. I can turn it on and off to see the difference. I can also add a mask. So let's say I wanted to add a mask, grab my brush, and maybe I want to bring back that golden light on these boats. I can just come back in and apply my mask and you can see I've got the mask right here and it's just bringing that back. So again, I can truly customize the look as I go. Now, the other beauty is I can shuffle. So if maybe I look at the curve and I don't love it, I can shuffle and get a different curve look added to this group. So let's try that. Just going to shuffle this through and you can see how it's just impacting the curve that it created. And I can decide if there's a different one that I like more than another. I can also reduce the opacity of just this curve layer. So maybe I like that darkness, but I want to bring it down just a little bit. It's giving us some purple tones. And so I can come in and do that. I could also just go back and shuffle again to get back to that original. So I can turn it off and on, and there is my before and the after. All right, so let's say I'm gonna turn this one off and let's go back to our layer, and I'm gonna start the Create button again for you. It's 
So we're going to create, and you can see this look. I'm going to click Create again, and it's just going to take us through options, and it just continues to modify. It's all within this one group, so it's not adding multiple groups for you. We can just cycle through until we see something we like. And remember that it's bringing in color and tones using these methods. And so once you find one that you, you kind of like, I like this vintage look, you can then adjust it. So maybe I don't like the magenta in the water. Let's see what is impacting that. So I'm going to go through color balance. That's what's impacting. So the color balance is impacting it in the water. So I could just turn that part off if I don't like it, or I could turn it on and I could shuffle. There we go. I bring back that blue tone. Now I've got a truly customized look for this image that's kind of bright, a different sky. And again, it's at 100%. I can bring it down and lower that opacity if I want. So it's just a really fun, amazing tool. You do have an intensity slider that is going to intens intensify or um, adjust. I like keeping it at 50% and using the opacity slider. I feel that that works much better for me and my work, but you can play around with it. You may, you may decide you like it. Um, there are some other options available under the suite. So there is a black and white option, but you do have to purchase it. So if you do a ton of black and white work and editing, it may be worth considering that option. There is a harmony button, and I'm going to cover that in another video because it is fantastic. It's a great way to work with complementary colors in your image, but I think it's going to be um, need to be its own video. So look for that in the coming days. All right, let's go look at one more image and... Let's come over to, let's go ahead and work on this image in Chicago. I'm going to turn these off that I was playing with. And so this is back to the original image. And this image was already, it was a gorgeous day, really bright. I already edited this image and I like it, but I just wanted to see what else I could do with color grading. So let's come in and just use this create button. And we're just going to see what it does. So it's giving us a muted look, which is kind of interesting and soft giving us some pink tones here, <clears throat> a little bit of green, a little bit more magentas, I think. This one's just making it even more dramatic. So if we turn it on and off, you can see what it's doing here. So that one's not bad. I think what I want to try is reduce the opacity, take it maybe down to 50%, and let's look at it now, before and after. So that's kind of nice. I like what it's doing to the sky. And again, we could turn some of these on and off just to see how it's impacting. So I think that color balance is giving, it's definitely changing the color some in the grasses, but I like the warmth that it's giving. There's selective color. That's making the biggest adjustment. So I could turn that off if I wanted to. And now when I go back, yeah, it's still giving me more of that golden color. We can try the gradient map. Now we look before and after. I think that is the look that I'm going for. We've got this just vibrant blue sky, but we've still got this pop of yellow. And so I turned off two of the options. I reduced the opacity just so I've got just a little bit of it. I wanted it a little softer and subtle. And so now before and after. It's very, very subtle, but it's just giving me some additional tones and color to the image. Let's look at one more, and this is one where, um, let's turn off everything that I did before. I'm going to go to Create, and we're just going to see what it does to this image. Ooh, that's nice. It's giving us just some more golden tones. So let's look before and after. Now, I don't like what it's doing to the, to the road, so I'm going to keep going and just see what else I can come up with. Oh, that's kind of magical sky, isn't it? Really pretty going to kind of keep flipping through. So this is making it look a lot more like a night image. So I'm just going to come in and reduce the opacity. And I really like that. It was evening when I shot this. And so that's nice. It's darkening the road. It's giving us those kind of blue and, and warm tones. It is darkening my shadows just a little bit. So at this point, I may need to come in and add a mask 
and maybe reduce at 50% some of the effect, especially in these trees and shadow area. So I could just come in and remove a little bit of that off. Maybe remove a little off the, the cornfield here just to bring back a little bit of that detail. I don't want it to be um, so dark. And let's take this maybe up to a little bit more and bring a little bit more of that off. So again, with this program, you can totally customize what you're doing. It's just an easy way to add these layers and to bring in different colors and tones to your images. So try it out. Um, I hope if you're looking for a program that will do some color grading for you and that makes it super easy, I would definitely consider Infinite Color. I've been really impressed with it and enjoy using it for all types of images. My next video will walk you through how to use the Harmony slider, which is an amazing way to create um, complementary colors, use Anagolis colors to impact your image using this program. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.